Red Lanky by Lucy Rowland and Paula Metcalf. Have you seen my blankie? Once inside a palace lived a young princess called Alice. And Alice had a blankie that she always took to bed. This blankie was so cuddly, so soft and warm and snuggly. But one day, it went missing. Where's my blankie? Alice said. Alice ran across the floor and hurried to the palace door. She called to Jack, her brother, who was playing in his den. He said, oh yes, I'm certain that I used it as a curtain. But that was quite some time ago. A giant took it then. Alice tracked the giant down. She rang his doorbell with a frown. Giant Jim said, come on in. I've made some lovely pie. He said, I had your blankie and I used it as a hanky. But then a witch discovered it and flew off through the skies. Alice started out once more. She knocked upon the, the witch's door. The witch said, oh yes, your blankie, yes. It made a lovely cloak. But if I'm not mistaken, dear, my lovely cloak was taken. She pointed to the trees, where Princess Alice spied among some smoke. Alice went exploring, and she heard some noisy snoring. She walked into the forest and was trying to be brave. But then she saw her blankie and a dragon looking cranky. Who disturbs my slumber? Roared the dragon from his cave. Alice felt a little scared. That's my blankie, she declared. But suddenly, she realized this, that this dragon wasn't tough. The dragon sadly bowed his head. It's just so very soft, he said. Your blankie helps me sleep because my bed is cold and rough. Princess Alice looked quite cross. It's time to show him just who's boss. But when she reached for blankie, Oh, the dragon looked so blue, and Alice thought, and Alice thought about it. Well, he'll never sleep without it. I wonder, said the princess, if there's something I can do. Just then, she had a good idea. Yes, of course, the answer's clear. Well, we'll find. Snuggly and soft and warm, the princess said. The dragon went, whispered, oh yes please. He gave the blankie one last squeeze, then handed it to Alice as he wrapped from his bed. Wriggled from his bed. Alice and her newfound friend let, left the woods and round the view they came upon the witch's house. They hoped that she could help. The witch said, try my snuggly cats. She she's sleeping here inside my house.
said the dragon with his eyes up. The dragon was now trying to stop himself from crying. So Emma spoke to the giant gin, who gave it quite some thought. My feeling, my, my feather cousin soft. Perhaps you could try that instead. But the feathers make me sneezy, said the dragon with a snort. Achoo! The, the dragon's tears were flowing, so the princess kept on going. They flew to find her brother. Do you have any ideas? Socks are warm, young Jack replied. I've got, ex I've got an extra pair inside. But socks are far too stinky, said the dragon through his tears. Princess Alice felt so bad, the dragon looked so very sad. He sobbed, I need a blankie, where I'll never sleep tonight. Alice stroked the dragon's head and then very gently said, don't give up. I promise you will find something that dead. I promise I'll find something that's just right. The dragon followed Alice and they went inside the palace. We need something that's soft, she told him. Warm and snuggly too. They checked the attic with a cork. Then in her bedroom, Alice cried. I've just the thing for you. With lots of noisy puffing and some heavy and some huffing, the princess showed the dragon. Look! My fluffy teddy bear! The dragon, beaming brightly, held onto the teddy tightly. And Alice felt so pleased that she found just the thing to share. Ta-da! Inside a royal palace lived a young princess called Alice, but now she has a dragon who will often come to stay. So anyone who's scheming, beware the dragon dreaming, he's guarding Ted and Blanky. So you better keep away. And remember to subscribe and like the video. Thanks.